Hey guys, good morning. I'm Manish Gupta from getquali.com. And in this particular webinar, we are going to help you set up a complete free dialer for your uh, business. Like, you know, you can use your mobile phone as an automatic call dialer. And this is a setup meeting that I'm going to take you through. So let me know, uh, you know, show of hands if you can hear me correctly. Or if you can, you know, if you want me to increase my volume or if there is any change that you want me to. Can you hear me correctly? Just show me, uh, just raise your hand. Perfect. Perfect. So I can see some show of hands. Great. Uh, if somebody is facing an issue, do let me know. This meeting will be recorded and we will be sending you a transcript of the same at a later stage of time uh, too. Okay. Once this uh, webinar is over. So let me start with sharing my screen. So before we go any further, I would like to tell you a bit about Kali, like, you know, what is Kali and you know how it is going to help you in your sales process. Now, Kali is an automatic call dialer, which is essentially a mobile application that is installed on your, uh, you know, Android phone. Okay. You can also install it on iOS phone, but you know, the version on Android is much ahead of the iOS version because of some limitations on the Apple play store. Now, all you need to do is create an account, load your data and start calling right from your mobile phone. So uh, in my setup, I'm going to show you two things. One is this web panel, which is, uh, you know, which is where we will create an account. And second is the mobile application. Now I am simulating my mobile phone, uh, you know, onto my, uh, you know, desktop to show you that, you know, how uh, and what I'm going to do on my mobile that, you know, you can also do and, uh, you know, uh, use Kali as an for your auto dialing purposes. But this is a separate application that we're talking about. And this is not connected to Kali at any at any point. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going here and very quickly creating an account for myself. So this would be Manish webinar. I'll use a dummy email ID. password and this would be a number I would like to use. Perfect. So sign up. I think so. Most of you must have done this process already, which is why you have that email, which shows you, uh, you know, to sign up for the webinar. Now, uh, you know, this is where you land. Once you have logged into your mobile pan to your web panel, uh, we have a getting started guide out here. But uh, what you can do is just skip this for now and go to your dashboard directly. Now, since I have not installed the mobile application, it will keep on giving me this particular message. But what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to add a list. Uh, there are certain features which are not part of your Kali personal plan, which are, we will talk as we are through with the initial setup. Okay. But uh, right now, let's just go ahead with a personal, uh, you know, with a, with a single Excel file that we can upload. Now, to make this Excel, you can use any software, whether you use Numbers, whether you use Google Sheets, whether you use Open Office, whether you use MS Excel. My MS Excel being my favorite one. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just put in some fields, name, uh, number and notes. It doesn't need to follow any format, any sequence, nothing of the sorts. If you have an, uh, you know, sheet coming from a source, uh, you know, you can use that also, uh, you know, maybe you have downloaded it from a MLS listing website, or you have downloaded it from some other, uh, you know, data mining website. Okay. All you need to do is uh, ensure that, you know, it has no special characters like commas. Okay. And let's say I'm going to put some dummy values to it. So I'll increase it. So I have around, got around 86, uh, these ones of the values. That's spooky. My mouse is going down. And I will also send it and I'll call this as 
nodes 1, nodes 2, and I will again stretch it. So what I've done is I have created a sample file. Uh, you can use your own structure. There is no limitation. But the only thing that matters is that uh, uh, you know your file should not have special characters like commas. Uh, you can have hyphens. You can have forward slashes or other things. But uh, a comma is something which might give some trouble at a point of time in the in the imports. So let's just close this. So this is a sample file that I've created. I saved it on my Mac on my desktop. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to load a test file. And choose the file. So it's on my desktop. By the way, you can upload a CSV, XLS, or an XLSX file. All three the all three formats will work for you. It's just a pop-up which says that you can only load 50 numbers. So since your Excel had more than 50 numbers, it will come. And this goes into the first name. This goes into the number that you're going to call. And this goes into the nodes or essentially the reason why you're going to make a call to this person. I'll click on import data. And if you see, the numbers that you have uploaded uh, are there in the system. Okay. Now you might ask that why are there only 50 numbers while the Excel file that you created had more than 50 records. The reason for that is that you have a Kali personal subscription. A personal subscription only allows you to have up to uh, you know 50 records uploaded in the system at one time. And uh, you can make a maximum of 25 calls in a day. Okay, if you wish to do more calls, you might have you might have to consider upgrading to a Kali Pro or a Kali Teams plan. Kali Pro is a plan which is uh, great for individual users, uh, you know, solo solopreneurs or entrepreneurs who are making calls on their own. While Kali Teams is great for people who are going to make, uh, you know, huge, uh, who have huge teams, more than five people or five people, going to make calls on behalf of their business. Okay, so right now, since we are in a free plan, many things which could have been, which I would love to show you are not available like you know you would not be able to set up call dispositions you might not be able to send sms's uh, emails or work with integrations which are there as part of your uh, you know upgraded plan but let's go ahead and manage this by the way you can only load one sheet in a free plan too so uh, uh, without any further ado let's go on to the mobile application and see how it looks so I'm opening Visor, and this is how it is on my mobile application, okay, uh, on my mobile phone. So I forgot my email ID. What I'll do is I'll go here, and Manish webinar is the email ID that I would like to use. So let me go back to the mobile application. <laughs> I'll open the Kali mobile app. I'll choose English as the language, and I'll say, Manish webinar. Password is, I believe. Now, at this point, it will ask you for certain, uh, you know, uh, permissions on your mobile phone. And you can even schedule a demo by uh, clicking on this if you want to know more. OK, so I am going to skip this and go to my dashboard. I'm allowing call logs. I'm allowing for phone state. And I'm allowing phone popovers. Okay, so I'm started now. So I'm on my dashboard, as you can see. And as soon as I click on this Start Calling Now button, which is a red button on the home screen, I will be shown the list that I can load. And you can see I have 50 pending calls. And it also shows me that that is where my call, my list name is. This is the button which I have to use to start calling. OK, so I'll click on Start Calling. It will make a call. Uh, before I go there, let me show you around. So. This is the section wherein you can see all the calls that you are supposed to do or that are there part of your list. Okay. Uh, 
This is the section where you can see call history or the numbers that you have already called. Uh, if you have any incoming calls coming into the system, okay, or you know, logged in, let's say if you're calling or you know, you have paused your calling and there is an incoming call which came, it will get automatically logged in this incoming call section. And this is the section where you can see the calls that have been scheduled by you on your account. So let's get started. Let's make our first call. Uh, if you want to change your delay, so five is the default delay and you can only use standard mode while there are some other modes there in the Colli Pro and Teams plan. I'll go ahead with the standard mode. What it essentially means is it will take five seconds to make a call, post which uh, you know it will connect the call if you are speaking with that person. Um, after speaking with that person, once you disconnect the call, it will bring you back to a page where you know uh, to a screen where you can put in call dispositions. Now, if I click on standard mode, it is showing me uh, you know uh, a wait time of five seconds. I can cancel. I can do other things. So I'll hang up this call. I don't want to make that call as such. And uh, like in your web panel, if you can see, uh, you would not be able to set feedback, SMS templates, or email templates. But what you can do is you can say that I would like to schedule this call after 15 minutes. And this is the test note that I have for this particular number that I just called. OK, I can uh, now. This red button that you can see out here is to mark this number as DNB. So if you have called a number which is not uh, the number that you should be calling, or is it a DND number, then you can press on this button and mark this as DND. If you want to call back the same number again, you can do that from this particular button. And if you want to go ahead and make your next call, just click on the screen button. So what I'm doing right now is clicking on the screen button. It has brought me to the next number. Uh, I can skip this number. So I've skipped this. <coughs> it is asking me if I want to really skip this number. So what I'll do is I'll just click on next call. So I'm on call three, if you can see. OK, so finished call my call. And I can say this is my call number two. Next call. So as you can see, it is as easy as this to start auto dialing using Collie auto automatic call dialer. Uh, you don't um, have a huge learning curve to understand this. It will automatically set, you know, uh, your records correct. Okay, you can see uh, the numbers that you are called, supposed to call the numbers that you have already called. Like if you have, you can see this number was skipped. Okay, uh, there are no numbers for incoming calls, and these are the two calls that you have scheduled. OK, um, so uh, this is essentially what it is. If you want to know more about Poly Pro or team plans, you can check out them on our website. You know, we have a whole set of tutorials available. So all you can do is you can visit getcolly.com. So I'll just go here. That's what me the admin console. OK, and there is a step by step guide that we have created, which is a getting started guide according to each plan that you have. So, whether you want to use a Colli Pro or a Teams or, or a personal plan, you can just go and whatever I've shown right now, uh, you know, you can follow those steps on this particular, uh, you know, uh, screen tool, on this particular uh, knowledge base entry tool. Let me know if you have any questions or any thoughts. I would love to have your feedback on this. And I'll see you in the next session. Uh, you know, if you have certain questions that for which you would want our assistance, what you can do is you can also request a demo. So you can book a slot when you are available. And uh, what we'll do is we can again go and discuss uh, at length about uh, you know your issues that you might be facing or your initial set of requests that you would need an assistance on to get started with Kali. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being such a wonderful audience.